Hello there and welcome to a new tutorial on Blenderpedia. Today we will talk about building large environments and what you need to know before you start. It is very important for you that you have some uh, tools and IDs that, so you won't get lost with your environment. So you probably have that uh, seen that when, when you start and you're building something you have struggles like you get lost with your work you're like ah how can i finish it is this good or is this bad how does it work and how do other people do it it's like ah. well some advice for you um of course my sheet won't work yes there it is so the point i want to talk about is scheduling time uh, about deadlines inspiration how does it work does everyone have it and can you schedule this uh, interesting make a scene plan uh, that's like you have something in your mind and how can you put that on paper so you can start working with that and about the two or three days break so you have a clear vision and to finalize the work these points are very key for me so i like to explain it how i work with it and uh, maybe it helps you in your workflow so there we go scheduling time um, maybe a bit boring but I will tell you why. Um, it, it really depends on how much time you have. If you have a working day, a time of six days a week, and you have lots, lots of events, you pro maybe have two or three hours left to spend on artworks. So that's a different situation for someone who works three days or when you are a student and you have some extra free days. Um, you maybe have two working days to work on an artwork. So these situations are totally different. So you have to write down what you have and how much time you want to spend on it. And then you um, make a deadline like, okay, I start today and I will finish it. Or I start next week and I will finish it in two weeks. So you have two weeks to make this final. Uh, and stick to it so uh, you promise yourself then it's done and it really doesn't matter if it's not final it's the experience you you get during the artwork um, of course we try to make something beautiful as we can but don't feel bad when it's not completed because you you make something and you say in the end well that's it i tried my best and that's it and for the next artwork you learn so much stuff that it will definitely will look better you hope so. So um, yeah, that's about the time. That's everyone, in my opinion, has it. But you have to make decisions how important it is for you to uh, invest it in artwork. So something about inspiration. Uh, people say, yeah, I'm some parts inspire me and um, I have a lot of inspiration. Well, maybe you think I never have inspiration. What is it? Is it something very, uh, um, yeah, does everyone it or is it the why don't i have it <laughs> it's just really hard to put it in words so for me the word inspiration is something else like like having a great idea or uh, you're feeling good so if you have a great day and you're, you're watching some images and then something attracts you and you think hey i, I want to make this that's in my opinion the the way inspiration works so what you will do is uh, when you have a great de day or you feel good, that's the best time to start your artwork. And if you scheduled for yourself, I want to start next week, maybe you can move the schedule a little bit uh, as long as you won't have problems with your work. That's very important. So the reason that I can recommend to work with inspiration is it will really speed up. So maybe you have to work three weeks without and maybe five days with inspiration. That's how easy it works. It's a gift, so use it. All right, uh, making a scene plan. Well, I already mentioned this. So what you will do is when you have something in mind, make a rough plan. Like you say, well, I want that object on that place. I want trees over there and I want a river on that side. So very rough, um, but it, it doesn't really matter if you get off that plan when working on it. So if you have everything set up, but you see like, hey, I need to change this because uh, it looks ridiculous. Why did I? use this setup um, yeah i can say yeah do that but if you don't have a plan uh, it's it's like you you try everything out before you 
finally get on the point like I, I want like this so you can save a lot of time with a map and I will show you a sample of a map that I use for my scene so um, it's for every object like for for my scene the sample scene I created a church some graveyards some nature props cost me some days and in the end I had the scene plan so when I had the first version it cost me I think a week so uh, can go very fast so um, and one final note before I will show you the sample is take a break when finalizing the work so when everything is done and you try to make some renders of your scene and you think well it looks fine I can recommend to say okay maybe it looks fine maybe you are very happy with it but just leave it there for a couple of days and then you return and ask yourself do I still like it and if you still like it finalize it maybe tweak a little bit um, go for the final render but what happens with me all the time is that I'm very like like I finish my my artwork and I make a render and I look at it like hmm yeah it looks okay but hmm, that 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 something is missing and I go away and when I come back I change lights I change everything and then I think yeah that's was the missing thing so can be a good thing can be a bad thing but uh, it's like you ask someone else like hey do you like the work um, it's a fresh uh, fresh vision on your work so important okay and I will show you a sample scene I will show you my struggles uh, showing why I try things out and why things sometimes do not work uh, and when I picked my final work so let's get start with showing you the uh, the church that I modeled cost me a couple of days um, yeah so and I scheduled these days for it so when it was over I said okay I could improve way more things adding more props uh, but uh, I used this version it was okay uh, and I want to keep on the deadline so some scene props and trees uh, are useful for the scene so I was ready to make it uh, this scene this was the final scene uh, so you can see the church with the trees and the light with a little bit of volume fog um, that was uh, on the last day of my deadline so and then I released it this was my scene set up so it's really rough you can see the top view of the church the pad with trees the green dots are trees it's not I'm not that magically with nature on when I paint it and the camera I wanted to have it right there so I thought that was the, the picture I had I, I, I had a picture that I was seeing that from behind so but I tried a lot of variations in the end so I started so when putting everything together I had the base and added the grass and the path with some graveyards and the trees and I watched it I thought okay well it works like we have a picture we can see the church but it's I'm missing a lot it's not attracting me uh, because I'm very critical on my work uh, so I had to experiment with it and the first thing I thought like I want to have more color in the scene so I created some new the, the church is brighter so I increased the intensity of the sun lamp and I used some different leaves on the tree but uh yeah if we compare it with the previous one it's not way better it was just another version a, a small scene improvement so i wanted to do more stuff like i thought i'm going to add flowers and more tree yeah? maybe it was the composition what was keeping me off but it wasn't all that so i thought okay i need to do this completely different we go uh wild with it so a 180 uh, turn in this scene so I made it dark and I added the character with with a light source so there was something to focus on but the big struggle was everything was dark it didn't really bother me that I couldn't see the church where I spent most of the time on but uh, I had the same problem with the previous one like like uh, you do, do and that's the thing you need to shine as an artist you are the one who can make that difference um, it's something that grows over time so uh, don't feel bad when you can't see it it's it's 
you can see for me it's like I'm trying everything and it, it won't happen so I thought I need to do uh, something else with a church I want to highlight the church maybe that works so I added a moon and put the church on fire I thought that will help but now everything is visible okay we have uh, a focus point on the moon and a fire but is this really the the final magically scene that I had in mind no so I thought I have to go I have to experiment maybe with the fire we put the church in fire and we bring back the character like he discovered the fire and this it's a full moon scene enough ingredients to make a spectacular scene uh, and it looks funny but maybe a little bit hilarious like you watch like haha I, I didn't want that I want to I want to catch something and that won't work so I sticked off the fire I removed it back to the original ID but with slightly brighter colors on the grass and the, the sky and on the right I added the tree it works a bit better for me but uh, still a lot of things were not going well so I used a different perspective so I moved down the camera and so I could see the grass and the tree on the right so the composition was getting well but now the background was blurred and the foreground was uh, yeah sort of sharp um, yeah it wasn't getting any better um, I, I, I put some attention on the graveyard with some moss and flowers to bring making making a little bit of emotion in it but now I was really say hey watch these flowers and grave it's emotion <laughs> and that's not how it works it's like you don't have to push people in a sort of an emotion um, let people just watch it and discover things and free the mind so I removed these flowers I put them somewhere else uh, different colors more highlights on the church more sharpening but the foreground was blurred and when I made everything sharp it was still not going well uh, so this version was no go then I was going to the spectacular way like very shiny sunlight with uh, yeah how you call it um, it's sort of a fantasy scene but this looks not this not the way i like to to make scenes but it was just i give it a go and maybe it works so that wasn't the one and this was the last day so i thought i want to have a more total look uh church is important uh it's a graveyard so don't focus on any graveyard just these are there uh, make the foreground just a pleasure to watch it so we have, so have a rock and a tree but they are not distracting so it's it's peaceful like there is not really a thing like hey watch this I spent so much time on this you need to see it no it's it's the um, it's the scene how it is and I felt well by this one so I thought okay enough tries you did a lot and this is the one uh, I came out with I'm happy with the result uh, of course when you finalize it and you watch it over and over again you think ah oh, maybe I had to improve that or this point but it's just a, a moment of your of your work and it's fine when completing it the deadline works great on this point like I could spend two more weeks on it but who says that it was getting better this was the way I, I ended up with so uh, the church artwork um, one final note, if you like this kind of information, I created a course on Udemy um, and I will talk about these things like organization in your work, how my old masters from the 17th century worked with artworks uh, and why I like these um, and how you start working with simple models and, uh, and you finally end up in making a large scale environment. And we're doing that together and I will show you everything. So that's it. I hope you uh, like watching this video and uh, keep watching this channel if you like to see more Blender tutorials. Most of the time I'm modeling, but this time I thought it will be great to give you some information about scene development and organization. Have a great day and uh, see you later. Bye bye.